how Brandy was scammed by Kim Kardashian. The Kardashian family is ruling the world in terms of fame in the current times. However, over the years, it has been made clear that this fame came from the conscious efforts of the Kardashian sisters. They used multiple ways to highlight their names and even used the people around them for their own good. While it's no secret that Kim Kardashian once shared a close friendship with singer Brandy, many have speculated as to what caused their close ties to fizzle out over the years. The two were said to have been best pals back in the early 90s, when Kim was hired as the famous icon stylist while her younger sister Khloe Kardashian worked as her personal assistant. Many people still wonder what exactly happened between the two besties. Why did they stop speaking to each other? Are the rumors about Kim Kardashian scamming Brandy for money even true? In today's video, we will spill the tea on how exactly Kim Kardashian used and scammed her former best friend Brandy. If you want to know more about it, buckle up. Make sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on so you get notified every time we post. Let's dive into the video. Celebrity Stepping Stones The Kardashians have been known for playing the perfect stepping stones and knowing how to use people around them to fulfill their wants. The Kardashian sisters just couldn't hack their way into becoming the It Girls, so they did the next best thing. They became best friends with the It Girls. Kim Kardashian, specifically, has a long history of building close friendships with famous people and exploiting them to further her personal and financial goals. Kim is undoubtedly one of the most successful reality stars of the past decade, according to Celebrity Net Worth, with a corporate empire to her name and a staggering $1.4 billion in wealth. And if it isn't already clear, fame, success, and wealth also bring friends. Plenty of friends. The fact that the mom of four is pals with various Hollywood celebrities like reality star Jonathan Chiban and power actor La La Anthony shouldn't come as a wonder. And while Kim has clearly been busy managing her chain of businesses, shooting keeping up with the Kardashians and parenting her four kids, she still manages to be there for her friends. As friends you know do. It's always what do you think of this, what do you think of that? Anthony remarked to Life and Style in 2018. Kim is also a wonderful friend. She offers great advice, style tips. According to Us Weekly, Kim's extended circle of friends also include comedian Amy Schumer, model Chrissy Teigen, and her younger sister Khloe Kardashian. Although Kim was once less well-known, she has always been in the company of celebrities, including Paris Hilton and Brandy, Ray's sister. The Best Friends Duo Although Kim Kardashian and Brandy may not sound like a couple you would imagine together today, they shared a really strong bond in the early 2000s. Over the course of the three years that Kim dated Brandy's younger brother, the two managed to develop a friendship of their own. Kim and Brandy had been spotted attending a number of events, fashion shows, and even starred on Tyler Perry's Temptation, Confessions of a Marriage Counselor together. Brandy was one of the A-list superstars and Kim loved to mention as her claim to fame. Kim happily mentioned multiple times that Brandy and her were the best of friends for years. According to Kim, they were like buddies who always hung out together, went shopping together, and the job she is most proud of is serving as her personal stylist. Did Kim really steal money from Brandy and her family? In April 2020, DJ Mustard had accused his former personal assistant of using his credit card to fund a lavish lifestyle, which reportedly include hundreds of thousands of dollars spent on designer clothes while dining at some of the most expensive restaurants in Los Angeles. When the story was shared on Twitter by the podcast No Jumper, one particular social media user's response ended up going viral after bringing light to a lawsuit that had been filed against the Kardashians in 2008 by Brandy's mother, Sonia Norwood. According to Norwood, Kim and her sister used her credit card to make a whopping $120,000 in unauthorized purchases, as evidenced by the court filings. In the lawsuit, Norwood's mother, Sonia Norwood, who is also her manager, alleges Kim Kardashian had only been authorized in 2004 to make one purchase on the Norwood American Express card, in Kim's then capacity as a stylist for Brandy. But later, Kim, now starring in a reality show, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, made unauthorized purchases and passed on Norwood's card number to her siblings, who then also made unauthorized purchases, including for items in two Kardashian family-owned clothing stores, Dash and Smooch, for a total of $120,636. Later, the Kardashians confessed using the card between 2006 and 2007, according to reports. At the time the case was filed, but they insisted that the money was not used to fund any extravagant excursions, but rather to assist supply and operate their clothing companies, Dash and Smooch. The Kardashians' Denial The suit, which also names Kardashian siblings Chloe, Courtney, and Robert Jr., alleges they ran up the charges on the mother's card in 2006 and 2007. It seeks the return of the money plus 10% interest. In a statement, the Kardashians denied the allegations. The charges against the Kardashians are meritless, the statement said. Both Kim and Chloe were employed by the Norwoods and never used their credit cards without their express authorization. 
the Kardashian family looks forward to proving the absurdity of these claims in a court of law. Norwood's stance. In a statement to People in 2008, Norwood explained that legal action was not their first choice due to the Kardashians' relationship with Brandy and Brandy's brother, Ray J. Sonia said, I did not want to commence litigation against the Kardashian family without conducting an exhaustive investigation into the charges and discussing all options, including criminal prosecution with my family. After Ray J and Brandy urged me not to file criminal charges because of their prior friendship, I decided to afford the Kardashians an opportunity to resolve this matter without a lawsuit. Norwood explained that the Kardashians apologized profusely and informed the Norwoods that the debt would be paid in full. However, Norwood claimed that they then reneged on that promise, which led to her filing the lawsuit. Kim and Ray J's history Believe it or not, but the rise in fame for the Kardashian family started with Kim's viral videotape with Brandy's brother, Ray J. Moreover, the viral scam done by the Kardashian family happened between 2006 and 2007, and the infamous tape mentioned above was also released in 2007. This left the viewers with the thought, if the infamous videotape between Kim and Brandy's brother, Ray J, has anything to do with covering up the crime. It is a narrative that Kim has really milked over the years, and even cried about an alleged second tape 20 years later. That happened during the premiere of their show on Hulu, The Kardashian. Kardashians, where Kim saw an ad during a family barbecue suggesting that more explicit footage was going to be released from the infamous tape. Then, she vowed not to go through the ordeal of having private intimate footage on display for the public again, with Kim and her family bringing up the tapes again in their new show. Ray J also felt the need to remind everyone that they were literally stolen from his family and apparently it wasn't just $120,000. The reconciliation. Even though Brandy has extended an olive branch to Kim, it doesn't appear that she followed through on reconciling with Kim, given that neither of the two ladies have publicly announced that they are now friends again. Much of this seems to be irrelevant now, though. Brandy is currently concentrating on her career and her responsibilities as Sarai Smith's mother. In similar context, Kim is clearly over the drama with the Norwoods and is now simply trying to be as present as she can for her other friends. Conclusion. Although Kim betrayed her best friend with such an unethical act, which ultimately appeared to upset Brandy, the things have now quite settled down. Brandy really seemed to be disappointed and has ended the friendship. However, that does not mean Brandy doesn't miss her former best friend. Brandy addressed Kim Kardashian in a 2013 appearance on the Wendy Williams show during an interview. The singer stated that she truly misses her friendship with Kim while looking directly into the camera and sending Kim nothing but love. Brandy's sorrow about losing her friendship with Kim was awed at by Wendy Williams, audience members, and folks watching at home. That is all for today. For more such videos, do not forget to subscribe to our channel.